All of this smiling that's happening here today is because we crossed off so many things from our wedding list. Cheers! Come watch it happen. Hey, so Rob and I are on our way to the wedding venue. He and I are gonna go over there and we're gonna have a meeting with our day of wedding coordinator. Very excited. Yes, very excited. We're going to uh, plan things. We're gonna make sure that things are in order and that it's in its place. It was very important for us to get a day of coordinator because we didn't want to worry on the day. No, absolutely yeah. not. Like, I didn't want people texting me and calling me and telling me, oh, we have a problem. Absolutely oh, we need not. this. Phone's oh, we need that. Off, yeah, my phone's going to be off. So I, I don't want to deal with any problems. And us both, we didn't mind doing a lot of the work beforehand. Right. You know, we didn't need a wedding coordinator for the whole thing. We just wanted one for the day of. So yeah. that way we weren't stressed and all the puzzle pieces could fit together and all the coordination could be done. I've heard stories of brides forgetting their bouquets on the day of, forgetting their veils, and none of that would happen if you had a day of coordinator there to remind you of those things. So because I don't want any of that to happen to me <laughs> or to oh, him, yeah. so we got her so that she could help us out. And I think she's fantastic. So yeah. we're gonna meet with her and guess what we're also gonna do? Wedding venue tour. Uh oh. Stay tuned for that, man. We decided why not also bring you guys along so you can see the venue and where we're about to get married. This is where we're getting married. Woo! So, as you pull into a hotel, you get this really scenic drive in. Picture this because right now it's currently the dead of winter but we are getting married July 2nd. So picture the greenery, the flowers on all these trees. It's seriously gonna be a super beautiful sight to see. And the hotel is in a very convenient location for our out of town guests, for those coming in from New York City, and also our New Jersey locals. And as you pull in, you're gonna see a restaurant to your left. It's called Grain and Cane, very good food. And then to the right, you're gonna see a Starbucks. So you know for sure whenever you see a Starbucks, it is coffee time. And Rob and I needed all of the caffeine we could get because having a meeting with your wedding coordinator needs coffee. So we just met with Elaine. Just did it, man. She's and great. And that's her wedding coordinator. Yeah. And she's awesome. She is awesome. She's actually perfect. Yeah. Yeah. She, she's definitely exactly what we needed, I think, in a wedding planner. Yeah. And kudos awesome. to you. Yeah. Honestly, I was looking for somebody who was more very detailed, coordinated. She had a whole timeline spreadsheet. You yeah. Know, a mock spreadsheet that she already did prior weddings in the past super detail oriented which is yeah. like you said of course what you want and yeah. rob actually found her so i did you're welcome i'm so happy to have her so happy to have her it's like Very exciting. you don't yeah. want to wait comes off of your shoulders because you yeah. know somebody's going to be there to handle it yeah she's gonna <laughs> handle it yeah. like whatever happens like there could be a, a, a crazy typhoon yeah. and she's gonna handle it so yeah, just pass the baton to aileen and yeah then she'll take it home for you Exactly. <laughs> Track reference. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, they probably don't get that. And after meeting with Aileen, I mean, what was that? Like a two-hour meeting? That was a two-hour meeting. We Honestly, yeah. I didn't think going into that, I didn't think it was going to take that long. But when yeah. we just got down to talking, it just kind of like just flowed. And look up, it's already like close to two o'clock. We realize how much we actually still have to do for it's this a wedding. It's a lot. It's a lot we have to still have to do. Like, which is why you need a coordinator. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Coordinators, yeah. any advice out there, definitely try to get a coordinator, man. I mean, if you can do it by yourself, do it. But I think if you can get someone who knows what they're doing, has been in the business for a very long time, you know, why not? I mean, yeah. it's, it's, it's worth the money, honestly. I agree. Yeah. I think it is worth the money. Yeah. She's worth every single cent. Yeah. And she's not cheap, so. <laughs> Interrupting the vlog to show you this commentary we got from this guy while vlogging in public. Yeah, exactly. And so it's like very easy to use and then you have a mic. The mic is only 50 bucks, but it's a really good quality mic. So it's like, it's good. And then your lighting is really good. 
Yeah. You could buy it on Amazon and make it stronger. Wow. I'm a blind guy. Yeah. I know, exactly. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. I guess when you oh, blog yeah. in public, your equipment becomes very interesting. All right. I think we've talked enough. I think so, too. Yeah. yeah. I think they want to see something. Yeah. You want to show them? Yeah. I think, I, think th I think they deserve to know. Yeah. They need to see it. I can show you guys. A little, bit, a little okay. bit. A little bit. We're going to give you guys... A wedding venue tour. Yeah. Where are we right now? We are at the MC Suites mm -hmm. in Berkeley. Yes, Berkeley New Jersey. Heights, New Jersey. Yes. Yes, and it's very beautiful. And so we're gonna take you guys along so you guys can see where we're gonna get married. Yeah, very excited. It's very exciting. And so, uh, yeah, let's start the tour. Let's go. Let's go. This is Embassy Suites at Berkeley Heights. As soon as you step in through these doors, you enter the really modern lobby and check in is to the right. You're gonna see so much natural lighting, a water feature all the way to the back. And then as you make your way to the left, this is their breakfast area. So if you stay here, this is where you're gonna eat breakfast. It's super spacious and the food is good. So you can't beat that. And then as you walk towards the lobby, all of the soft seating over there and towards the end is the restaurant where I saw this little cutie sitting there. I think I'm gonna marry him. He's so cute. And as you go back to the main lobby, you see that at the end, there's this staircase, grand staircase that leads up to the second floor, which is where the party's gonna be. Woo -woo. As soon as you land on the second floor, again, you're gonna get all this natural light. The ceilings are super high. There is not a dark area in this entire hotel. I'm telling you, I checked. And then you get that overhead look at the lobby down there, which is really nice. And to pan over, this door right here is the hallway that leads to all of this. So this is the cocktail area where people are gonna eat appetizers and drink their refreshments and enjoy each other and chat and mingle there is an outdoor patio area that people have access to my wedding is in July so you know people are gonna be mingling in and out and now this right here is the main event this is the solarium this is the glass house this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen it sold me as soon as I walked into it. Unfortunately, we couldn't go in because the door was locked, but hopefully these videos do it justice. Look at how that light is coming in. Look at the floor to ceiling glass windows and those chandeliers are so beautiful. I cannot wait to get married here. And in July with all the trees in the back, I'm telling you, mwah. It's going to be a divine sight, and I'll let you appreciate it. Okay, moment of appreciation over. This right here is the patio space, part of the outdoor area. There is a fire pit back here, plus a bunch of outdoor seating. You know, people are gonna be taking their food out here, taking pictures out here, their drinks out there. I can't wait to get married here. It's gonna be such a fun day, and I'm excited to marry the love of my life. Cheers. All right, so we're back home. We made it back home. The venue tour was good. The venue tour was great. It was good. Yeah. But now we have more wedding stuff to do. We do. We gotta send out these RSVPs, man. Yes, we have to send out invitations because we want people to tell us yeah. if they're coming to our wedding so we've been using <laughs> zola to track our rsvps yeah. track our guest list it's really nifty you send people a link and then they fill out their own information and then you can go ahead and send them the invitations which yeah. makes it easy we are not doing mail invitations no absolutely not we're in the 21st century now and i think everything is digital so exactly what's the point honestly exactly mail 
invitations. <laughs> yeah, we figured out. Everybody has an email at this point. Yeah. Everybody has a cell phone and a number at this Honestly, point. Yeah, yeah. So why even bother with mail invitations? spending money on mail invitations like right. you know what we can do with that money so we're yeah. spending zero, zero dollars, dollars yeah. on our invitations is that your favorite number zero is my favorite number free is my favorite number also <laughs> <laughs> so i think the process is going to go by pretty easy i think mm -hmm. i don't think it'll take that long but yeah. it took a while to compile everybody in mm -hmm. there but i think now that we got everybody we can just get it all together and just do it man all right, let's get to work. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah, man. So we finished. We double checked the guest list. Did it all. We made the invitations in Spanish. Yeah. We double checked and triple checked. Had to. Everything. Had to. And now I think we're ready. I think we're ready too. So it's all drafted. Yeah. So it's all drafted, and we're gonna send out the email invitations first. Yeah. And then we're gonna send out the text ones. Yeah, you the text ones later, yeah. and then the emails first, and hopefully people get that and get that done ASAP. So we can get this going. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready, man. Ah, okay, we gotta do it together. All right, let's do it. Man. All right, ready? We're gonna press this button right here. Ready? ready Three, two, one. Ah, send. Nice. <laughs> Sent, babe, it's out of here. It's done. Crazy. Wow. Can you believe it? That's insane. So now we just have to wait to get some responses. Yeah. That's crazy though. I'm proud of you. Good ass, baby. Proud of you. Proud of you too. It's it's gonna be hard because yeah. there's always blowback after invitations. Yeah. Because people expected it, or they're not gonna get the plus one that they thought they were going to get. Yeah. And we were really driven by budget yeah. in the invitation decisions that we made. Right. And so, you know, it's very hard to include everybody. Like, you want to. Right. I you think, want to. I think people just don't understand. Like, I, you know, these weddings, they cost. <laughs> you know, if we could, we could have, if I, if I could, I would have everybody come to the wedding, but. In these days now, it's it's kind of hard to. So sometimes we have to do what we can, mm -hmm. you know. So, yeah. but in the day though, I think everybody will be happy and we're happy. So I think that's kind of all that matters, right? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. yeah. Bye. We need to turn it on. Turn it off. Oh, I was about to say.